What's the status? We've got a defensive perimeter set up just down the road. Doesn't seem to be working. Got Right, this is Terminator Resistance. This game came out in 2019 as developed by Taeyon. Sorry, I'm not familiar with them, um, but maybe they maybe they've done some good games before. But I gotta say, this is a really freaking good game that kind of went under the radar. I mean, I remember hearing about it, but it didn't get amazing reviews when it came out, and. I honestly don't know why. I think a lot of people were expecting like an open world game, maybe by some of the early um, previews. It's not an open world game and that is fine. And the level design's kind of like the Metro games. It, this is very much like playing a Metro game. It's got similar skill building, it's got similar crafting, uh, it's got similar level design. You know, you've got some uh, characters you interact with and supposedly uh, how you interact with characters has I guess some um, effect on the game uh, supposedly at least they make you feel like it will whether it really does or not I don't know but yeah it's basically like playing a Metro game in the Terminator universe which makes a lot of sense uh, it's you know post-apocalyptic you're, you're, this takes place uh, during the future wars, um, you see an infiltrator is one of the first um, T-800 infiltrators that you see. In other words, the Terminators that have skin on them, that are meant to look human, that bleed. Uh, it's This is when this takes place. And again, a Terminator game playing like a Metro game is a match made in heaven. <laughs> no, it's not an open world game. That's fine. This isn't a game you're going to put 70 hours into. That's fine. It's, this is a classic uh, action-adventure game with RPG elements. It's Metro. <laughs> it's literally Metro, and that's fine. Uh, I think the game looks great. Uh, it's running on the uh, Unreal Engine 4. And uh, yeah, it did come out on like the consoles. Uh, I am not really familiar uh, with the PS4 or the Xbox version. Um, I don't know how it runs on those systems and you know, maybe maybe it doesn't run good on those systems and that's part of the reason why it got some negative reviews when it came out. I don't know, I'm playing it on PC and um, I think it looks pretty good. It's not maybe AAA all the way, <laughs> but you know, for a slightly, I don't know if I would call it a budget game, um, but it's definitely not like a triple-a developer It's not a triple-a game. It definitely didn't have a triple-a budget, but it still looks looks pretty good um, I'm running it at 1440p on epic settings and getting about 60 frames per second on average This is one of those few games that supports the AMD Fidelity FX uh, I mean more are starting to support it now, but this is one of the earliest uh, games to support it and um, I'm not, not using that. Well, it would improve, uh, I guess, the average frame rate. Um, for the most part, it runs very smooth and I think it looks pretty good, so. Um, there's definitely some nods to the first uh, few Terminator movies in here. Um, you know, yeah, this is 
the restaurant that Sarah Connor worked at, worked at, uh, at the beginning of uh, the first Terminator movie. And, you know, as soon as I saw uh, Mr. Big Buns here, <laughs> man, it, that was awesome. And you know what? The music as well, it's very similar to the music from the movies. I don't know if it's exact. It's close enough, but not like exact, so they could get away with, with it. Or if they, I don't know, if they got like Brad Fidel, uh, or the rights to the to the music, his music at least. The music is very very similar, uh, to the point where some of it I think is, the same music from the movies, and like how often do you get that in a Terminator game? This is like, playing, the Terminator movies. Like, more so than any Terminator game I've ever, I ever remember. Other than, like, the first one on DOS. The Terminator on DOS. Um, you know, that was trying for its time to to do what this is doing. Uh, and this really does feel like the, the movies. This is the hospital from Terminator 2. This is the hospital where you meet Sarah Connor in Terminator 2. And she has to escape from, and here we are in the hospital. And I'm like, man, is this the hospital? And then you find like a note, <laughs> you find a note or a letter or something on the ground, um, and it's like signed by Doctor Silber Sil Silberman, Doctor Soberman. <laughs> so yeah, this is the hospital from Terminator 2. And there's probably more nods um, that I haven't seen yet, or maybe even some that I missed. More tie-ins with the movies than any other Terminator game uh, that I've ever played. Yeah, this game got terrible reviews when it came out. Destructoid gave it a 4 out of 10 on the PS4. Um, IGN gave it a 4 out of 10. I don't get it. The game is awesome. <laughs> Maybe it runs like shit on the consoles. I don't know. Maybe most of the issues with these reviews at the time were the console version. I don't get it. This game is awesome. And definitely worth checking out if you're a fan of of the first two Terminator movies, this is like, this is must, this is a must play game for any Terminator fans. I can't believe the low reviews that this got. I, I don't get it. Um, this game is awesome. It looks awesome. It runs great. The music, finally a Terminator game with actual Terminator music, or at least so close it might as well be. Um, I think this game's awesome. I cannot believe the terrible scores it's got. Check it out on PC at least. I can't speak for the console versions. Again, maybe it runs like crap on the PS4 and the uh, Xbox One, and and maybe that's you know the main reason why it got such bad reviews. Um, but yeah, on PC anyways, I think it's definitely worth playing because again, on Steam this got good reviews. And as a Terminator fan, this is like the best Terminator game I've ever played. <laughs> and I've really got no major complaints. Okay, I have a couple. I have a couple complaints. You can't save at any time. It saves whenever there's checkpoints. And sometimes the checkpoints... They could be a little closer together. There was several battles where I got like two-thirds of the way through the battle. And I thought, oh, there must have hit a checkpoint. It must have hit a checkpoint. And then I die. And, you know, I got to restart at the beginning of the battle again. And if you could save at any time, you know, you could save whenever you wanted. <laughs> but, I mean, I don't know. Is that a really that big of a complaint? I'm playing the game on normal difficulty. And I die sometimes. And you've got to you know, start back a little further than maybe you wanted. That's, that's a small complaint. <laughs> that's a small complaint. 
Um, really not much complaints. It's got atmosphere. It feels like a Terminator movie. It sounds like a Terminator movie. It looks great. It plays great. Call it Metro Terminator. That's not a bad thing. It's not open world. That's not a bad thing. Not every game has to be a 70 hour open world game. And you know what? For most action story dr story driven you know first person shooter games with with rpg elements what is it even expected i don't remember anyone complaining about metro exodus not being full open world you know 10 hour game linear that's fine not everything has to be open world they're dead <coughs> Over here is our quartermaster. If you need anything beyond the standard issue equipment, work it out with him. And here's Alvin, residing chief Egghead. Uh, I prefer laboratory director. Like I said, Egghead. He supplies all techcom units with weapon modifications. Anyways, guys, that's it. Terminator Resistance, uh, definitely worth checking out. Everyone I do not get the bad score. <laughs> Definitely worth checking out. Just, just go check it out on PC anyways.